Now, once you are ready to um, use GRC, uh, one of the most critical steps is to schedule the jobs for pulling the data uh, from the target connectors, target systems into GRC. Okay, so SAP has given you a few jobs that you need to uh, schedule as background jobs. Um, so in the GRC node, when you come to, okay, let's go and do it from the beginning. So let's go to Spro again, and then go to Reference IMG, GRC, Access Control, and under Access Control, you have a node called Synchronization Jobs. Now SAP has a bunch of jobs that you need to schedule. Okay, so con config and parallel jobs is a feature that SAP has added in the GRC 12 version. Okay, this config and parallel jobs, bomb data sync and parallel jobs. These were not there in earlier versions. So that is GRC 10.1. Okay, this is the new feature that is included in GRC 12. So we'll see what these three are, but in a, in a standard jobs, as part of the standard jobs, you need to schedule authorization sync. So what does this authorization job do? It syncs up basically the SU24 data from your target systems. Okay, so that SU24 data contains all your permissions, the authorization objects, okay, and all of that, okay? So it basically pulls your uh, information for SU24 settings from the target system into GRC, okay? So this is one job you need to schedule. And let's run this job for both the connectors, okay? So you have the fourth one added here now. Okay, somebody is looking. So let's see this. Okay, you schedule this as a background job, okay? So sometimes some of these jobs take a lot of time. So that's not a good idea to run it in the foreground. Like what I just did, that's not the right thing to do. So run this in the background job. So once the job is finished, this is the way it looks. It took a lot of time when I ran this online, or sorry, on the in the foreground. So you should get a successfully executed message. And you need to do this for the, okay, before I do this, I want to pick the program for this, okay? So let's copy this program because I, we need this program for uh, going through the parallel jobs uh, configuration. Okay, so now you do the same step. You run it for your other uh, uh, connections. So now let us do this, okay? So we run this in the background, okay? And then if you have a printer, set up a local printer or something, you can probably select, put it in a spool, okay? So immediate. And now, normally in a customer place, this has to be scheduled uh, as a, you know, with a periodic job, okay? Now, depending on what your criteria are, you know, you could schedule it every week, every two weeks, once in a month, uh, whatever, you know? depending on how frequently you make changes to your roles and SU24 data. Okay, so you need to schedule as a period of job. Okay, so click on restart immediate and click on check, save. And the background job is scheduled. Okay, so let's go. So what does this do, right? Sync authorization sync data, uh, jobs, uh, 
synchronizes the SU24, mainly the SU24 data from your backend system, your target system into the GRC system. Okay. The other job that you need to sync is repository sync job. Okay, so in this job, let us take a note of this job also, what this job is. Okay. Now, again, you know, the first time when you run this job, the very first time you need to run it in the sync mode, full sync mode. And after that, subsequently, you can schedule this as a incremental sync mode. Okay. Now, again, this job also needs to be scheduled as a background job and then as a period of job, periodic job, maybe twice a day or you know once a day, depending on what your preferences are. Now, I want to schedule this job for. both the connectors that I have or you can schedule it uh, for one connector at a time okay and then I want to do it in a full sync mode because this is the first time I'm doing it now go to background job execute 0 1 can continue like I said even this has to be set up as a periodic job okay maybe twice a day because what this job does is right uh, what does this job get from the backend systems into the GRC system let's take that let's get in the job and then let's go to that check save so background job is scheduled now let's see what does this job do right so you can read the documentation about this job and what it does is it syncs up the profiles from the backend systems and syncs up the roles it syncs up the user information okay and why does this do that it, it does this you need this job the synchronization uh, sync for doing the SOD risk analysis on roles profiles and users Okay, so this is, this needs to be done, you know, on a daily basis, okay, whether you do it once a day or twice a day, will depend on your uh, preferences. Okay, so let's get schedule, the, we scheduled it as a background job. The other job that you need to do is, uh, let's say action uses. Action, action usage is again, uh, like you know in this you synchronize action usage data from the backend system into your GRC repository. Now action usage meaning is the uh, data related to the executed transaction codes by the users on the backend system, your target systems. Okay. So now this information you need for you know uh, in risk analysis as well as uh, EAM. Okay, so you sync this job also. So click on this and then select the target connectors. Okay, and I'm doing it because I have to, I'm doing it together. Otherwise, like I said, you can do it one at a time. Okay, like again, like I said, schedule this as a background job. Okay, once we are done with this, we are going to go and check the logs in SP SM37 also. Okay, so let's schedule of the jobs. Okay, the frequency of the jobs, right, what we are doing will vary. Okay, you may do some jobs on a daily basis, some jobs on a weekly basis, some, some other jobs on a monthly basis. Okay, depends on how you want it but it's preferable that you you know you do it on a you schedule everything as a period periodic jobs okay so let's take the this job also the program for this okay so
So let's enough. Okay, now let's so what is the next one? The role usage, right? So this is related to roles. Okay, the role usage data is related to relate is the role related data that contains transaction codes executed by the users. Okay. So this again, you can synchronize the role usage data from the backend system into the GRC repository. Okay, so schedule this job also as a background job. I'm going to execute this and pick the role. So I'll pick the program name for this. Okay, so you're syncing with this job, you're basically syncing the role information from the backend systems into your GRC repository. Schedule this again as a background job. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then again you do it in a full mode for the first time. And then subsequently you can schedule this this as an incremental mode in the background. Okay. Now let's do this. Execute in the background. And continue. Alright. Now let's see what other jobs we have. So firefighter sync we'll do later. When we want to configure firefighter uh, uh, module, the EA module. Okay, so let's do this. So these are the four jobs that you typically need. Uh, we will come back to configuring parallel jobs uh, in a in a while in a bit. Okay, now let's go and check what is happening with the background jobs. Okay, so go to SM thirty seven. And let's say grid. Okay. If this thing failed. One of those jobs failed. And this is for something else. Okay. So role sync finished. The action sync finished because those because we didn't do any activity on the backend system yet. So that's why those things, those have been finished. Okay. So we'll run these jobs after we create uh, the use of one user id and uh, some some user ids and roles in the backend systems and then we'll run these jobs again okay so pfcg is running okay the repository sync is running So the repository sync job finished. Now let us wait for uh, the PFCG authorization sync job to finish also. So the job's finished. So let's go and check the spool log. You can click on the spool. And you see the log here. Okay, so let's go back to some this probe settings and see what other jobs we have. Okay, go to access control, synchronization jobs. So we ran all the four jobs that we need at this point of time and uh, we'll see how we can use parallel jobs uh, next.